how to make organizational short in Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can make the perfect organizational short for your, um, let's say here, uh, co-workers or for explaining something to students, to clients or to uh, audience. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to canva.com. Then you only need to sign in into your account. As you can see here, we have our account. Now we are going to uh, see here from the uh, top menu, custom sizes. Then we are going to select the size that we want to make the organizational short of ours to appear. So usually either you are going to put it in a box or for example, a uh, cover or their uh, dimensional, as you can see, design. So this is a 1280 by uh, 720. It is nearly the size of a thumbnail uh, for YouTube or a image cover for a uh, product or uh, presentation. But there, I'm going to start adding the, uh, here, the elements. And here for the organizational short, we are going to add some shapes and some arrows. So let's start here with the shapes. We are going to visit the elements and here we are going to start with the shapes before the lines. So let's go ahead and add our first shape. So we are going to choose here a shape that is going to be uh, convenient for us. I'm going to put here maybe this one. So we are going to put it like that. Don't make it uh, too big and also not too small. So for this one, we are going to add here and put it to the middle. We are going to change the color of it to something like that, or maybe this blue. Now we are going to add a text to it, and this text is going to be a heading. Make it to the middle and make it here like this. So we are going to put here a... Um, here a uh, the first chart which is going to be how to make a video for example video a video like that so make it a little bit bigger or you can go ahead and put it into two lines like that so here we have it now we are going to add another here shape and this shape is going to be something you can go ahead and make it like this or you can put it and make it a little bit different. So we are going to put this one or we are going to use the more like this. So we are going to put it like that. So this is the first chart. We are going to put here the steps. Maybe you are going to need three of these. Now we are going to put here the first step. We are going to duplicate the text right there, make it a little bit longer to only specify here or to be sufficient for one line. We're going to put here uh, write an idea on a paper, a paper like that. So we are going to put it like this. Uh, this is the first step. Then we are going to add another text area right there to this one. We're going to put it here to the same one. Then we are going to put here start. Start uh, here preparing the, uh, let's say here, preparing the what? The content maybe like that, we are going to make it a little bit smaller, adjust it like this, boom. And for the last one, we are going to put something else. Here we are going to add another step, which is here, uh, going to start uh, filming and clipping. This is it. So we are going to put here another step right there and another one right there and maybe another one here. So then 
we are going to set up here the other steps. So we are going to duplicate uh, here the text. We're going to select it here, uh, start filling and clipping. Now we are going to here, uh, 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 post filming verification. And here we are going to prepare our text. Go ahead and do it for both. Now we are going to set up here. Uh, open up your editing software where like that and now we are going to make this a little bit smaller so we are going to put it like that now let's proceed to add in the arrows so we are going to select elements and then we are going to select lines and for that we are going to use different lines so we are going to make it a little bit here smaller so we are going to use the angulation of zero like that now we are going to put it like this so maybe you are going to put here the first step from here to there this is the first one so this is not what i wanted to do but okay we're going to use that like this this is the first step so now we are going to head over the second step is like that I'm going to be here at the middle put it like this 90 degree not more boom smaller and like that we're going to duplicate it for the next one also here we have it now for this one we are going to add another text or oh, not another text but another arrow but this, we are going to not use the same sign, but we are going to put it here. So make it a little bit smaller, not like that, and boom. So we are going to put here a starting line and an ending line. So this is a little bit here like that. So what do you think? It is good, all right. Now we are going to add another arrow is going to be here not this one but i'm going just to duplicate this one make it like that so we are going to make it till that here we are going to duplicate it put it for this and here we have the chart now we are going to uh, put here maybe another arrow make it like that rotate it to this angle put it like that make it smaller and now we are going to add a circle and this circle uh, is going to be like that. So this and boom. Now we are going to add a text box to this circle. So we are going to put here publish on social media, boom. Are going to make it like that social media and we can add some social media icons for example social now the shapes here social media icon for example you can go ahead and add all of these what is the problem here we have no problem i think so we can go ahead and add whatever we want from these uh, as you can see uh, graphics so we are going to see here a lot and most of them are going to be here fade so we are going to add this one like that so boom so we have it as you can see and here we have it thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one